the wrong person. Do you see that? I heard about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dennis, fresh out of Florida. Dennis, How was it? landed. SOS. Slash, uh, Denise, slash, Dennis. Seated, seat right. five. Florida. Who were your No, 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 Florida was great. Uh, he means the oh, play he plays was very well. <laughs> Check him out on the other No Limit shows. Who was the, uh, He's definitely had I mean, uh, some above the rim players. Who were your horses? Anyone know? Who did you like, put in? Anyone know? Oh, um, very multi way. Ray's under the gun the plus two from Ammer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the in. bad thing about this hand, um, Jack 9, 8, 7, even though it's coordinated, the gap is on top. So it doesn't work as well together. Say he flops 6, 5, 4, flops a straight. Only the top end is a little bit working but I mean, if you, want time, we'll, we'll you ideally, yeah. if there is a gap, you want it as low in the hand as possible. Uh, check to you, Dennis. Check. So no good, huh? You check. played it too? Check Looks like nobody has a yeah, six I mean, unless yeah, I'm, I'm missing not, something. I'm really Checked worried. around. Ace ten was the best hand. Now Ammer has a straight. Check. Check. He does also have to worry about a full house because with this many cards, somebody really? can easily have um, tens or nines or sixes or six nine, etc. etc. Ammer not having a ten is like kind of a reverse block. Yeah, yeah. She's like, why are you still threes? gonna bet it out? Because he you like the threes. Three, three, four, five. Nobody really has. Really? <laughs> betting for value. Three, three, four, five. Bookie three, with the nut flush draw. Mm. Oh, that's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Going to going call. Don't something? worry, I got it in against aces and. Uh, um, it's very dangerous aces, to draw on paired six. boards and PLO and with a flush because somebody may already have a full house, six, or the hand can complete oh. a full house. Bookie actually had a full house draw as well with the three. How much better can you play? <laughs> um, but can Ammer blow yeah, the Boogie yeah. off the hand? So so Ammer's very aware of these things. And, I played with him a lot. He played to see him on the show. He plays every day. He after thought he was in better shape. And he's just going to give it up, he, and he Boogie's going to take it. The ace on the river just oh, you mean on the river he didn't realize he won? Yeah. I'm going to – this is a good hand to discuss. I think Ammer might he thought he discuss just some hands. Uh, uh, sorry, Ammer may come in after the show to discuss some hands. This is oh, probably a good hand to discuss on uh, – I, I saw the nine first, and I thought the nine. So the hand, um, it was like very multi-way. The flop was 10-6-6, I believe. The turn was, uh, it made you a straight, but I wasn't sure which one. Is it nine? I, I turned the nut straight. Um, I, I forget if it was the eight or the nine. Well, it doesn't matter, yeah, because yeah, it, it, it was an inside wrap. Yes. So you turn the nut straight. Um, great value bet. Like, that's something that's, you know, not necessarily standard, yeah. I think. And so you got value, then you got called, and obviously you're aware of the nut flush draw. Um, he had, and he did have the ace-high flush draw. And the river made the dreaded three sixes on the board. Um, so my question is, and in the moment, I would probably totally agree with you, but like just looking at the cards, I'm wondering, do you even turn your hand into a bluff there? I think my hand has enough value that I can yeah. just feel comfortable checking it down. I think oftentimes he's just going to have some random pair in his hand and he's going to be forced to call down on that river. Um, that's that's fair. So I, I thought it was best to just check down, hope he checks behind, and just hope that my straight is good. Um, just like, you know, obviously I see the card, so I I'm, I'm can be a little bit biased. Like in the, in, the, in, the, in the moment, I would probably do what you did, but just food for thought since... If you and uh, <laughs> you probably put him on the correct hand in that flush draw. Well, if he has enough flush draw, that kind of uh, removes like some go. pairs in his hand because you know he doesn't have a pair of aces that's the, um, based on the hand. Yeah. So would that influence your judgment I'm going either to, way? I'm Not really. You know, I think it's. I think in this situation, it's really player dependent. Yeah. Um, and you know, for for Boogie in particular, I I thought he was just going to call pretty wide there on the river. Okay. I think a different player, I might take a stab there. Right. Um, so it was really just a, a gut feeling that. You know, if Boogie has just a random pair in his hand, he did. Yeah. I felt like he was going to call a lot of the time there. Yeah. You disagree. Speak up. But a different player, I might take a different action. We talked about this. And there was another big hand.